Well folks, this is the delightful little town of Peebles and I've come to get me a coffee don't get run down crossing the road, Albert. That would be very embarrassing. And it looks like the coffee shop's bloody shut. That bleeding, buggering, bloody coronavirus has knackered my coffee shop. What a disaster. Look at that, you drag your ass two thirds of the way around the planet to have a cup of coffee in Peebles and the. Ah, I know. I'm talking out my, you know. Because this looks awful like a coffee shop right there. Far too many cyclists for my liking. Right, let's see if we can get a cup of coffee. Oh, there looks like some stuff in there. I think we've cracked it. I think we're all in for a... Oh, now we're talking. Cake! Do I look like the kind of guy who likes cake? Yes, I damn well do. I've come two thirds of the way around the planet to have a piece of cake in Peebles. Are you from Poland? Yes, Were you here two years ago? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, I remember that. See? Please go first whilst I'm constantly harping on. Right. Ah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, one I'm gonna order. Gonna order. But it's amazing that my Polish pal is here two years later. She doesn't remember me though. Anyway, such is life. Right, let's order up. Ooh. Ah, so it's the wonderful world of Peebles. And just for one terrible moment, I thought my coffee place was shut. But then I realised I was wrong. So now I have a lovely coffee and a bit of sponge. Why don't you cast your proverbial eye? Mmm, flat white and a Victoria sponge with a humongous raspberry on top. Ah, quiet afternoon in Peebles. It's not a quiet afternoon, it's very busy afternoon because there's lots of people on push bikes having a race somewhere. So I'm going to have this bit of sponge and then I'll let you know all about it. Well, give it a 7 out of 10 on the Victoria sponge, but a 9.5 out of 10 on that coffee. And that dude gets a 9.5 on his two cat. Too many GS. But Great coffee, very good sponge. Yeah. So I started off in my wee home village and I went down to Moffat. And then from Moffat I went to Doit Gardens. And then from Doit Gardens up to Peebles. And here we are. Now I'm going to head down to another little town where I went to school called Bigger. Look, it's a daft dog. I have to have a closer look at the daft dog without getting run down in Peebles High Street. Looking that way, looking that way, not getting run down. Daft dog. Don't know what's particularly daft about it. I see, that gentleman's got a lovely beard. Him and his Shirley Davidson. And then there's this funny little shop. You can just hang on while I take a photograph of the Daft Dug. I'd say. Daft Dug. Daft Dug. You know, I'm not up for criticising people's bikes. I'm not up for bad behaviour. Well, it's very nice. It's not as nice as mine, though. You see that beautiful, beautiful V strom there? Funeral directors, that's always good. The croon. Looks like somebody's Staffordshire Bull Terrier. 
1803, the something hotel, which I can't read. All in all, it's a lovely day in Peebles, the country inn. At least there's a couple of pubs still in Peebles. I don't shut them all down like they are where I come from. Scott's Brothers, Fleurs. Have you got some Fleurs? Aye, we've got all the Fleurs you need, pal. Iron Mungry and Fleurs. Greg's, which is apparently now very popular in Britain. Well, look, it's the Polis. You don't often get to see the Scottish Polis. In fact, in an entire week in Scotland, it's the first time I've seen the polis. And they're having an ice cream cone. Well done, oh, lads. Yeah, get day stuck day. in, get stuck well, in. I'm... Oh, and there's a queue to get in. Ah! Well, we don't do queues, so let's cross the road. No, let's not cross the road. But here's another. More bikery types. Scum of the earth, I'd say. And I'd know. So I'll put on my best, best David, David, David Attenborough voice for arriving in Bigger. Nah, screw that. This is Bigger. This is the lovely little town where I went to high school. 35 to 40 years ago. Look at that big flashy thing. Ooh, spifter. And it's a, another nice, typical Scottish market town where Albie's gonna go get himself a cup of coffee. Damn it. So we'll give you a wee bit of bigger high street. Brownlees, that wee shop has been there for as long as I can remember, so that's, ah, I must have been coming to bigger since I was, since I was conscious, basically. And there's always been the Croon. And there's always been the Royal Bank of Scotland. And that used to be Richie's fish and chip shop. Colloquially known as Greasy Wills, the friary. And that's the Corn Exchange. And that's John's Loan next to the Corn Exchange where I used to Sky from school 
and that's a dog called a Weimaraner. Ooh, and that dude's got a fancy Indian bike. Oh, hallelujah. You know, I like a man with no baffles. <laughs> As you will hear in those videos. <laughs> How absolutely splendiferous is that? Go on, give it a wee rev. <laughs> oh, yes. Good man. So, Southern Scotland has brought you something that you won't find in your bandeja paisa in Colombia. You won't find it in your jamón serrano in Tres Bellas. No, no, no. You won't be getting this anywhere else outside of Southern Scotland. I'll just let you see it now, shall I? Southern Scotland is the only place in civilization that has brought you the square sausage. Yes, all these other sophisticados all over the world, none of them has dreamt up a square sausage. And when you see a square sausage, man, it's so obvious. You go, why did nobody else do a square sausage? It's lovely and salty and peppery and comes in a good old-fashioned Scottish roll. It's quality cuisine on Bigger High Street. You can't, you just can't beat it. So, dear old Bigger, it's been a long time seeing you. Might be a long time till I see you again. So, in the meantime, it's been good. It's been a great visit. It's been good to see funny old Bigger and it's funny old Biggeronians. So, off home it is. The Kirk Style Hotel. I remember walking down these streets when I was 12, when that used to be the co op. And I always used to wonder who lived in that house with a tiny wee door. And I remember when it used to be Fred Kowalski's delicatessen. Very Scottish name, Kowalski. Cadger's Brig. That was Edmondson's Brunson's, something like that. And that was the school up there. Ah, bigger, funny old joint. <laughs>